Hey Scorpio, welcome to your November um, love read. We're going to do the same spread, three cards for how they think about you, three cards for how they feel about you, and three cards of advice. Also, I'm going to be offering an extended um, video for anybody who's interested. Um, I'm going to be selling them for $25, so if that's something you're interested in, you need to make your payments via PayPal, let me know which extended you're interested in seeing, and I will send you the link, and it will be an unlisted link for YouTube where you'll have unlimited views. With that being said, let's see what this person thinks about you, Scorpio, for the month of November 2018. Three cards for how this person thinks about Scorpio, three cards for how this person feels about Scorpio, and three cards of advice. Remember to think of only your desires and not your fears, Scorpio. November 2018. Three cards for how this person thinks about Scorpio, three cards for how this person feels about Scorpio, and three cards of advice. Also in the extended, I'm going to do three extra Romance Angel Oracle cards. I'm going to be doing um, one card for what did they want to say to you, one card for what do they truly want, and one or two cards for messages from them to you now. So that is something that will be only in the extended version. Bottom is the Empress card, so the underlying energy. For how someone thinks of you, you have the Ten of Swords, and I just saw the Queen of Pentacles, so you could be dealing with an Earth sign. So, for how someone thinks of you for the month of November of 2018. You have the Ten of Swords, the Nine of Wands, and the Queen of Wands. How this person thinks of you, they think of you as beautiful. They think of you as someone whose confidence um, could get them whoever that they want. And there could have been a situation where there was a pretty painful ending for you guys. Someone might have left. Someone might have left for no reason is what I keep hearing. So they see you as being really defensive. They see you as someone who could get whoever they want, but they feel like this is over between you two for whatever reason. Maybe they want you to get out of your head and stop having so much anxiety and pushing people away because if you saw them, saw yourself for how they saw you, you wouldn't think that things were over. You'd see yourself as the empress who is truly above all queens, someone who sits on her throne and waits for someone to approach her. How someone feels about you, you have the Queen of Cups, the Six of Pentacles, and the Page of Wands. Someone feels that you are so caring and genuine and intuitive and sweet and kind that you've truly taught them so much about themselves, that you've been there for them, that you've brought them up from the worst parts of their life or that you potentially could. They want to have this reunion with you. Even if it's just starting out as friends, they see this as something who could grow so much more. Maybe this person had some addictions that they were dealing with. Someone feels that you would be the person to give them just as much as you as they give you someone who knows that you are no longer going to you know be the one who gives too much that you maybe gave too much and now they want to give you as much as you gave them in the past they want to send you this message about how they feel about you but they're scared <laughs> they feel like a little kid they feel like you're so pretty and you're so you have so much confidence they want to be like that but they don't know what to say you just you take their breath away they feel like you would say no to them if they were to ask you maybe you did say no to them in the past um messages of advice you have death four swords and the hanged man 
Let go, Scorpio. Let go and move on from this painful ending where someone hurt you and left you out in the cold. Stop holding on to all these feelings of pushing people away and not letting anyone close to you because you're afraid that you're going to give too much like you always do. Let go of those feelings. And the Four of Swords, this is having... Stop spending so much time on your own, watching the clock, watching your life go by when there's so many opportunities out here for you that you should be going out and enjoying your life. Someone wants to see you do that for yourself, even if it's not with them. And of course, that one flipped all the way across the room. You have children. Your love life is being affected by children and reconciliation. Someone from your past is returning to your life. These four cards will be for the extended. Now let's have three cards for what does this person want to say to Scorpio for November 2018? What do they want to say to Scorpio? What does this person truly want? And what is the message from this person to Scorpio for November of 2018? All right, you guys, if you're interested in the extended, let me know. That's all I have for you, Scorpio. Have a good November. Bye.